Hi, this is Marty, and welcome back for another video. Uh, as you can see, I, I wrote quite a bit on the board. Um, also, too, um, I, don't, I wear glasses normally, and uh, this is about uh, outside of my field of vision. Uh, I'm getting old. I don't know. Okay, so if I get close to it, it's because I can't read it. So just I'm not doing something strange and weird. Okay, so anyway, all right. Um, this is... Uh, uh, the dermal epidermal uh, connecting zone. Uh, so I'm going to go over what's on the board and then I'll talk about each one, try to get this. This is complicated, okay, really complicated. So uh, I'm going to do my best to keep it short, simple, sweet, because uh, we don't need to know everything. And, you know, we just need to have a basic understanding of what's going on. Okay. All right, so uh, here's my famous lines, uh, the epidermal layer. And like I said, I, I'm no longer going to go ahead and take the SC out. So we have the epidermis, which is the, uh, uh, um, the uh, basal layer up to the stratum corneum. And then we have the uh, dermal, dermal layer with the D, which is the papillary and the reticular dermis. And the pink ear is the uh, dermal epidermal uh, junction. So DEJ. Uh, basement membrane zone, and remember basal cells at the bottom of the epidermis, uh, basal meaning basement, okay? Uh, oh, and I go through some of the stuff redundant because uh, maybe a new esthetician or, you know, you haven't seen all the videos or whatever, so I try to help you out a little bit. Okay, uh, uh, okay, um, lamina, thin layer of organic tissue, okay? So just think of, uh, I don't know, a piece of foil or... Um, I don't know, a piece of cloth or something, you know, just a layer of something continuous, okay? So what this is, is this is, actually, it's kind of in reverse. You know how they'll, sometimes you'll see a piece of art, and you know, they'll blow out because it's so small, and you get the circle, you know, so you can see what's really going on. So I kind of did the reverse here because this is like this. It's, it's, it's actually a pretty bad drawing. Um, yeah, I'm not too proud of it, but you know, with this ink, you don't want to erase and blah, blah, blah. Okay, what we're going to be talking about is how the basement layer uh, between the epidermis and the dermis, uh, w what it is basically. Uh, uh, and and it's, uh, the, it's a very important uh, part of the skin. Uh, it's the weakest, yet it's still pretty strong, but uh, it's the weakest layer of the skin. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Um, but it's also extremely important because uh, the, uh, the uh, bottom of this zone, the lamina densa, uh, actually is what determines the molecular size of things that can pass through it. So think of the skin as a, a sieve with a lot of different layers in it that have different holes in it. Okay, so at the top, they're big holes and let a lot in. And then as it gets deeper in, uh, the skin has a way of either intercellular, intercellular or transcellular around or through, and then other areas of the skin that help, uh, you know, allow certain things and allow other things to pass through and just, just move about and, and uh, either never go any deeper and get it, uh, get moved up uh, with regards to attaching within the skin and, and exfoliating out and or through the lymphatic system, and it's all connected. Uh, think of this. How can I put gasoline on my skin, and yet how can I put skin care? That should give you an idea what the skin is capable of doing. Okay, that's my always... Gasoline might be, you know, I don't know, household products, whatever. Okay. Um, you get the you get the example. All right. So what we have here is we have the lamina lucida and the lamina densa. So the densa just means it's more compact. Okay. So it needs a, a smaller molecular structure uh, to pass through it than the lucida. Okay. So I'm going to get kind of close here. All right. So what makes up that thin layer? And if you ever saw a picture of it, I mean, you would think it's one lamina, like a piece of foil. So let's do this. Let's assume that, and it's actually much thinner, so it's, it's incredible what this is. It, it really is ridiculous. Okay, um, let's consider the thickness of the basement membrane zone to be that of a piece of foil, okay? So this is 
a blow up of a piece of foil. Is that, I know you've seen that before in, in artwork and stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna discuss this. All right, the basal cells that sit at the bottom of uh, the epidermis have uh, filaments coming out of them. That's what the orange is. So if, if I can draw this blue, what did I take? Green, where's my pen here? Green, uh, and, and this is blue, okay. All right, so we have a basal cell. That is what that is, right? And then there's these filaments, like think of it as a small wire, or, or, or no, better, um, a hair, hair on your head, okay? Coming out of the basal cell, right? Okay, and then it's going to anchor into a um, hemidesmosome. Now, if you've seen my other um, uh, videos, a desmosome is basically, think of it as sticky tape, double-sided sticky tape, okay? Now, wouldn't you know it, this is the weakest part of this area of the skin, and so far in my studies, truly is the weakest part of the skin in general if you look at it from a whole and what its job is or its function is. Okay, so what you have here is three parts. You have the basal cell, which anchors to the hemidesmosome through a filament to the lamina lucida. Okay, you with me? All right, so that's a piece of foil within that piece of foil, right? Okay, so right now we're talking about, um, oh, I need the pink one, that's one. Okay, so right now we have um, uh, this piece of foil right there, okay? So we have um, foil, guys, I get myself all confused, so how can I expect you to understand? Well, hopefully I can keep going and, and it'll be okay. All right, so we have the, ba so the basal cell, the filament, the double-sided sticky tape, and the first uh, well, it's the lamina lucida, but I'm thinking of the foil, so let me just continue. Okay, so the hemidesmosome attaches double-sided sticky tape, sticky tape to the lamina lucida, and, and then you have, so that's one piece of foil, right? And then you have another piece of foil right here, which is represented by that one, and those two are connected with other filaments or fibrils, they actually say the same thing. And I don't know why when, when, when you read about the skin or study it, they have like synonyms, like words that are different, but mean the same thing. I, I, I don't get it. It just makes it, it makes me reading, it makes my reading much more hard, much more difficult. Okay. So if we look at, use the yellow, I, I oh, here I can do this. Okay. So see this right here? There we go. Does that work? Okay, so we're there. So we have the piece of foil, and then we take the foil and we expand it, like kind of like an accordion, expand it, and, and we look deep into what's in that layer. So if you look at a piece of foil, it's like, that's really thin. It is, but there's a tremendous amount going on in there that, that our eyes can't see. All right, so hopefully I bridge that gap because even for me, for a second there, it was, it was a little bit difficult. Okay, um, okay so um, from there, what you have is uh, how, and, and extend that line through because the desmosomes are on top of that, uh, hemidesmosome is on top of that layer right there. Okay, or the foil, shit. Okay, sorry, okay. Um, Underneath the uh, lamina densa, where's my green one? There it is, okay, are more filaments. And um, what they're doing is connecting to the papillary dermis, but they go deep into the papillary dermis, and some of them, it's the craziest thing, they 
um, go like this. They, they go in, down, and then they come back. Well, the interesting thing is, is that how is the bottom side of the basement layer connecting to the path, to the dermis? Because remember, we have the we have the epidermis and the dermis, and if there wasn't anything in between, it would just be a space. Well, how do we link all that together? Okay, well, how it does it is the bottom of the foil has these long um, fibrils that come out of it and go down and loop back up. So it's kind of, it, what it is, is think of longer, Velcro, but not just Velcro. Think about Velcro uh, that um, uh, is, uh, you know, where it, like, like it'll hold 100 pounds or something, you know, and it's the kind you can't rip apart and no one likes it because it's so strong, you know? So that's kind of what it is. So you have, um, let me go here. So you have this, I'm going to talk about the bottom of it. Uh, yeah, so if this is the foil, and we're talking about what's going on above it and below it. And the foil, the foil, you know, represents the basement membrane zone. So you have uh, the dermis there, right, with its fibers, right, and all of its stuff. And then you have the bottom of the foil, the lamina densa, as it's called, looping in and back like Velcro, and just going into it. So you have this massive spaghetti of fibrils coming down from the bottom of the, uh, the, bottom of the, the basement membrane zone, or the, that foil, right? And, um, and from the papillary dermis, all the collagen and fibers giving those fibrils something to loop through and when you look at it, it looks like spaghetti. You can't pull it apart, okay? So, where is the weakest part within the skin? Well, it's the double-sided sticky tape, right? Well, where's the double-sided sticky tape again, okay? That, where's I got my green and my orange and my blue. Here we go. It's, and I have to do this small because I know you can't see up here, it's right there. So we have the top of the foil now we're no longer talking about the lamina densa and the lamina lucida and what's going on between them they are contained in that line so right now we're not in the foil we're just looking at the outside of it okay so we now know how the bottom of the foil connects to the dermis but how does it how does the basal cells which are up here connect to the top of the foil okay well that here, this represents the basal cell, right? It's, uh, hold on, uh, green. Oh, I kind of did my colors wrong. Okay, it's this hemidesmosome, double-sided sticky tape, like the desmosomes that are throughout the epidermis and the uh, and in the in the stratum corneum. Okay, um, and how is the how does the basal cell connect to the hemidesmosome through a filament and it does that so where's the weakest part within the skin it is got to go yellow for emphasis right there because what is connecting that bottom of the hemidesmosome to the lamina lucida, stick, uh, glue, sticky tape, okay? So there's no Velcro type spaghetti stuff going on at that point. So it, you're relying on the number of desmosome, hemidesmosomes, the structural integrity of them to bind the basement layer or basal cells to the top of the basement membrane zone to the top of the dermal layer. <laughs> oh man, okay, is that right? I think that's right. Yeah, I'm tired, that was, yeah.
Okay, so if you ever wondered what connects the epidermis to the dermis and what's going on between those two layers of the skin and how they connect to each other, this is how. On a scale of 1 to 10 in describing what is going on here as, you know, 1 being child's play kindergarten and 10 being like medical science studied, I'm not going to give myself more 2 <laughs> or a 3. Uh, I'm serious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the, the, the things that are going on in the collagen and, and, and the molecular structures out of this world, and it's all contained in a thickness less than foil. Okay, it's mind-bending. All right, anyway, uh, you get it. Um, I'm sure you do. I hope this helps. And uh, let me see if there's anything that um, I missed to say. Um, nah. Nope. I don't think so. Anchoring filaments. Anchoring hemidis. Okay. Uh, no, I think I touched on it. Um, how is the... Uh, uh, the uh, Lucida and the Densa connected by anchoring filaments, uh, very much like uh, the ones that connect the basal cells to the hemidesmosomes, and very much like uh, the anchoring uh, fibrils that connect the, uh, the, uh, the Densa to the papillary dermis. And they go really deep into the, uh, into the papillary dermis, almost into the uh, reticular dermis. I mean, they're, they're really, really deep. Okay, uh, and that's why that side of uh, the basement member zone, uh, membrane zone, is uh, uh, very, very strong, extremely strong. It's uh, the top at the hemidesmosome basal layer where uh, you have the uh, the weakest part of the of the skin and the uh, 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 ba um, basement membrane zone. So anyway, <laughs> okay, uh, I, I think this is like a really complicated subject in a very short time. I think it's a pretty good job. Okay, uh, this is Marty with Skincare Science, and thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.